Bible from the book of Exodus, chapter 18, starting with verse 13. This is what God's word says. On the next day, Moses sat to judge the people. And the people stood around Moses from morning until evening. When Moses' father in law saw all that he was doing for the people, he said, What is this that you are doing for the people? Why are you sitting by yourself when all the people stand around you from morning until evening? Moses said to his father-in-law, because the people come to me to inquire of God. When they have a dispute, it comes to me and I decide to a man his neighbor, and I may know the decrees of God and his laws. Moses' father-in-law said to him, what you're doing is not good. You will surely wear out both you and these people who are with you, for this is too heavy a burden for you. You are not able to do it by yourself. Now listen to me. I will give you advice, and may God be with you. You be a representative for the people to God, and you bring their disputes to God. Warn them of the statutes and laws, make known to them the way in which they must walk and the work they must do. But you choose from the people capable men, God-fearing men of truth, those who hate bribes, and put them over the people as rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, rulers of tens. They will judge the people under normal circumstances. In every difficult case, they will bring to you, but every small case, they themselves will judge. So you may make it easier for yourself, and they will bear the burden with you. If you do this thing, and God so commands you, then you will be able to endure, and all these people will be able to go home satisfied. Moses listened to his father-in-law and did everything he had said. You may be seated. Today's sermon, Let It Go, Part 3, Delegation of Tasks. Change happens. I'm talking about change a lot. Kind of move from the old into the new. We all know, though, that sometimes we have a hard time moving from the old to the new. One of the things we have a hard time letting go of sometimes are things we do. So I'll give you an example. When Janine and I got married, we had to let go of some things. Right. You know, I couldn't just stay out whenever I wanted to and stay out as long as I wanted to. Well, I could. How many of y'all husbands know that ain't going to make too much for a relationship? Right. Come home at 3 o'clock in the morning. Where you been? You know your business? Yeah. I know my business. I left this house too. Right? So I changed the thing. Couldn't go hang out with the boys like I used to. Hello. Things haven't changed. Janine couldn't sit in the bed till three or four in the morning reading their books either. Because the brother had to get up and go to work. Right. First time I'm trying to read. I'm trying to sleep. So we had to let some things go. We had to change what we did. And that was not easy. When you've been doing the same thing for years, Janine had been reading in her bed. As long as she, as soon as she learned how to read, she was reading in her bed. Her mom would turn the light off and she'd look by the LED clock. No more the LED clock. She'd read the book by the LED clock. So she'd been doing this for decades. And I was used to going out and doing my own thing whenever I wanted to do it. Staying out late because I didn't have nobody to worry about. Had to change. Had to delegate some of those duties off. We had to figure out who was going to wash the dishes. I didn't particularly like washing dishes. All right. And Janine likes a house that looks like nobody's lived in it. <laughs> Hello. We were definitely opposite now. I was kind of, you know, my bathroom was clean. I had one seat in the house that was all right. You know, but then I didn't care, right? And her house looked like you could eat off the floor. So you know that was the trouble. So the first time I tried to clean, I told myself, clean. I said, I thought you said you were going to clean. Yeah, I cleaned. She said, said, clean? <laughs> she, so she had to clean for me. So quickly we had to decide, okay, if it's cleaning to be done, you're going to do the cleaning. Because if I'm going to do it, then you're going to come right back and do it anyway. What's the sense of me doing it? <laughs> so, but she didn't like taking the trash out. So I lied to start taking the trash Start to buy the dudes. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. You start doing certain things and you start who's going to handle the finances, who's going to, who's going to do the shopping, who's going to do the laundry, all, all those type of things. All your life changes. 
Now, if both of us kept trying to do everything we always wanted to do the same way, we'd have had trouble. Now, then, Olivia was born. Oh, my God, you talk about a major change. I'm not getting married. I mean, Olivia just, she just wanted to control the whole house. I'm serious. She'd wake up all hours of night wanting to be fed. And of course, you know, I, I was driving a brake truck at that time, and I had to be to work at 3 o'clock in the morning, so I went, I can't go feed this girl. <laughs> but then, then when I would get home, I had to take care of her because Janine was wore out. So, you know, I had to learn to change diapers. Boy, that was <laughs> Janine had these diapers that they had to have an engineering degree to put on. Yeah, she, she sat through a cloth diaper. And I said, that, that, that was okay. But she had a ring at two certain ways and all this. I'm like, oh my God. I tried to put it on, the whole thing was falling off. So what I did is I, I found some cloth diapers that were just like one thing. All I had to do was pick them and pan them and we're done. She said, where did you get those from? I said, I went to the store and got them. Well, I don't like these. Well, good. Well, you can use yours and I can use these. I can't do what you're doing. But we had, we had to divide that up. So things changed as well with Olivia. We couldn't just go out whenever we want. Come on, let's go out. We couldn't go. Hey, let's go eat. Because we had to think, okay, where can we go? And we can take a baby to. The baby's going to be all right. And then when we decided we needed some time by ourselves, well, that was up. Who's going to watch Olivia while we're uh, And then, you know, how many of y'all have a problem with somebody watching your children? I mean, I'm raising my hand. Because, okay, you know, some of y'all are going to spend raising your hand. Hey, hey, they're your child, right? But some folks seem to like to drop their kids off anywhere, not us. Like, uh, who is this person? And we have relatives. Who, who are you? I'm your relative. Okay, that sounds good. I need a background check, you know. <coughs> so we had to adjust. And then Jeffrey was born. And things really changed then. Because then it's like, okay, how do we let Olivia know that Olivia, we still love her, even though this little round head kid is now a kid. <laughs> you know how that happens. Who is this kid? Oh, they're taking my stuff. So I decided I'm going to take Olivia on. So Olivia became my running buddy. And you know I had to change some things because Olivia couldn't go to where I used to go. <laughs> She could watch the movies I like to watch. So I had to change things. We had, I mean, Janine and I delegated duties off. Okay, we do this, and I'll do this. So pretty soon we got, got a system down where we had to delegate. And then as the kids grew up, we started delegating again. Right, Jeff? Uh, Jeff? Oh, you like pushing that lawnmower. Good. Well, tell you what, son. Let me show you how to do that. <laughs> Oh, Jeff, you can pick up the garbage now. Oh, praise the Lord, brother. We so should have to do that. So we started delegating duties. Now, I could have kept doing it. But, you know, what's the point when you got healthy children around the house that are big enough to do that stuff? Right? I mean, right, brother? I mean, you know, kids are growing up. Got to teach them that work ethic. And I'm sure they really enjoy getting up early. You know? Right? But that that I had to delegate. Now, was it hard to let some of that know? Yes. And I'll tell you, one, one of the two parents had a hard time letting things go because we have two definitions of clean in the house. Y'all thought it was just me, right? 